Okay, I'm skipping around a little bit. We're on subsection 6.1, uh, dealing with combination vehicles. What two things are important to prevent rollover? Cargo close to ground and drive slow round turns. Um, it also helps to have the lo load centered, but the two things that you need to know are that the cargo is close to ground and, uh, dr you know, low center of gravity and uh, drive slow round turns. When you turn suddenly while pulling doubles, which trailer is most likely to turn over? It's the last trailer. It's called the crack the whip effect, where the tip of the whip goes a lot harder than the beginning of it. Why should you not use the trailer handbrake to straighten out a jackknifing trailer? Well, the brakes on the trailer wheels are what caused the skid in the first place. So why would you want to keep them engaged? Right? It doesn't make any sense. You want to let the brakes go so it can roll. All right, what is off tracking? That's when the rear wheels follow a different path than the front. And the furthest wheels in the back off track the most. All right, when you back a trailer, you should position your vehicle so you can back in a curved path to the driver's side, true or false. That's false. You should, you should straight line back. All right, but if you got to do go in a curved path, the driver's side, of course, is better, you know, because you can see better on that side. All right, but, but you, you should straight line back whenever you can. What type of trailers can get stuck on roadway, road, railroad highway crossings? Low slung units, that's units low to the ground, and single axle tractor pulling a long trailer with landing gear set to accommodate a tandem axle tractor. Just imagine if it's really long and there's a little bit of, of hill where the railroad track is, when the wheels go over, the center of that long thing is going to get stuck on the tracks. So um, those are the those are the two things. All right, thank you.